So this is a quick little video demonstrating what's going to happen once I install Git Kraken. I've installed it. It immediately ran after I installed it and it says welcome to Git Kraken. So I want to sign in with my GitHub account. <clears throat> so I'm going to click this button and it says success <laughs> and I'm not sure exactly why um, but I was already logged into my github account so I'm like what the heck was going on there and it pulls up this window on my web page so now I'm gonna go back over to get Kraken. and here I am and uh, I'll pop this down and notice it says uh, there's my email address and so on and so forth. And now I want to uh, clone. I'm going to clone the repository that I created out on GitHub. Um, let me pop that up. And let's see where. There's my GitHub. Uh, there's it demonstrating my latest uh, page. Um, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> the actual GitHub account. Um, there it is. And you'll notice that uh, I've got my little index page in here. I've got my images, my scripts, my styles, and so on. I've already put some things in here. Uh, you potentially could just have only the README. In this particular case, notice this was a repository that I made that's got my user ID .github.io. So I can pull that up of course just by going to that web address any changes I make there's my little website now I'm gonna go back to Kraken and I'm gonna go up here to the top left little file folder and I'm going to say clone and it says where to clone to and it wants to take that repository and all those files and move them to my local computer. Now I've not set up a folder to do this. It would have been maybe nice if I already had a folder set up to do this, but I haven't yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the browse button. And I'm going to go into my documents folder and find a nice place to put this. So I'll go into classes. I'll go into 160 and now I'm going to make a brand new folder. You'll notice I have this thing called Git Stuff that I've been using in class, but I think I'll make a brand new one and see if that works. So, new folder, and let's call this, um, let's see, let's call this the Git Web. All right. Oh, maybe I'll say 160 also since it is for 160. Could be for another class. So, there's the brand new folder. And I'll click on that and then hit the select folder button. So there it says where to clone to and it says okay what's the URL and uh, I want to get that from github.com and now I could just go get the URL for that page copy and paste it but let's see if I go to github.com let's see what it does here and notice it knows about my github user account and it's already connected me to that and I want to clone this. It's showing me my repositories that I already have. So that was very convenient. So I'll click on that one. And full path, there it is. And so I'm thinking to myself, I'm ready to rock and roll here. But uh, I'm not sure why it didn't just uh, put that in there. Um, hmm. Full path. What if I just hit enter? No, well, that didn't work. Well, how about I could type it? Peter D. Casey. GitHub. Io. Let's see if that does anything. Nope, that's not working. All right, so. Oh, whoopsie. Sorry about that. I lost it here. When I went in and selected it, because I changed the option from URL to GitHub, it blew away my browse. So, okay, I'll go there, go back to browse. I want to select this folder. That was the ticket. I just didn't notice that it cleared my where to clone to. So, I've got my directory locally. I've got my GitHub repository selected. And I'm going to click the clone the repo. Bam! It just did it. So, I'm going to hit the open now button. 
and there, there are all the changes and everything I've made. It basically read all of those changes from my github.com repository. And now I might want to go in and actually take a look, see at uh, some of those files. And so at this point, I can go look at my directory. I'll go ahead and, and uh, pull up my directory here. So here's my Windows Explorer. And I'll go peek in Documents, Classes, CIS 160. And I've got my Git web. And there it is, the folder. And there are all the files. Now at this point, I could start editing these files. And once I edit them, then when I'm ready, I can commit and push those up to my GitHub repository, and everything will be up there. And I could then later go home, for instance. Uh, I'm at my office, but I could go home and grab all those from the GitHub repository online and then start continuing to work on my project at home. So I'm going to stop this video now, and uh, we'll see how that looks.